Okay, so let's talk about audio. We've spent a lot of time talking about video and getting the best video out of OBS. And now, it's of course, it's time to talk a little bit about, well, getting the best audio because people will tolerate okay video, but they won't tolerate sucky or okay audio. Uh, you want your audio to be really good. So uh, I've mentioned this all along that um, my recommended peripherals uh, to do live streaming, definitely an external webcam like the one I'm using right now. And of course, a, an external mic like the one I'm using to record um, this particular uh, video. So the mic that I'm using right now to record the video is a really good mic. Um, and good mics are probably in the $200 range. Uh, this particular one is a uh, Apogee Mic 96. Originally, this was only a Mac only mic, but they came out with a Mac Windows version, so you could use it on either platform. And of course, um, most of my team also swears by the uh, the Yeti uh, or the Blue mics, so the Blue Snowball, the Blue Yeti, those are decent mics as well. Um, but whatever your audio system is, the mic for you, the broadcaster, is just one piece of it. And if that's all you need, great. Just get a good USB mic or even a USB headset if you don't mind the headset showing in your video. Um, and that will be great. But if you're going to add multiple audio sources, like my friend Jason Levine uses uh, a live streaming to not only show or, you know, you hear his vocals, but we also hear his musical instruments, his, his um, gear that he's actually playing back. Uh, so in that case, you might want to invest in a mixer, a USB mixer. That way you can plug in one device into your OBS computer, your streaming computer, the USB mixer, and then you plug multiple sources into that mixer. So I'll picture one up here on the screen so you guys can take a look at what one of these looks like. Once you plug that mixer in, now you can put any sources you want, multiple microphones, other audio sources that you want to stream, and all of that will come across. Now, uh, if you don't want to go the mixer route and you just want to simply keep it as a, a single microphone, that's great. That's what I've been doing most of the time. But then that brings up one other thing. What if you want the system audio to play? That can be a little tricky, especially when you're presenting from one computer over to your OBS computer and you need to get the audio from that computer out to the other one. So again, a mixing board would solve that because you would just take the audio out into the mixing board. But if you want to capture system audio, then what you might want to do is have um, audio drivers that can be picked up by OBS. So for example, if I go to OBS right now and I were to click to add a new audio input capture, um, and I could go in and say that, uh, we'll just call it capture number one. We don't care about the name right now. And notice for devices, it gives me the built-in microphone on my computer, my mic 96 that I'm using to record right now. It'll even bring in the audio from that capture card. I've not tested this yet, but that's intriguing um, because if it can bring in the HDMI audio from my computer, I'm all set. Um, but if it can't, then I'm going to have to re rely on something like Soundflower. Soundflower on the Mac is a piece of software that basically allows you to send the audio from, from your computer out to audio capture devices like what we're seeing now. Uh, so Sound Capture would allow me to do it as well. So you have multiple options to get really good audio. Um, first of all, being investing in a really good mic for your audio. And second, using a mixer if you're going to have multiple audio sources. And if you're going to bring it in from your computer, either have your capture card doing it if you bring it in from a second computer, or if you're bringing it in from the, um, from the system audio, you're all set because usually as long as you're broadcasting on the same system, you're good to go. And last but not least, software uh, can help as well. So there are multiple ways to get good audio. And like I said, I think the ultimate way is to have a mixer because then you have no limits. You can plug in whatever you want, whenever you want, and control the volume, control the quality of each input source individually, especially if you're going to be streaming with multiple people, like a panel or an interview style, where you're going to want each person to have their own microphone. That's where the mixer really comes in handy. So with that, hopefully I've given you some good thoughts or tips to think about for your audio, and uh, we'll put some recommendations in the descriptions as well as on the screen here for different audio or different mics and things to try. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one.
Cheers.